Plenty of activity happening throughout the entire state for us. Some seeing some severe thunderstorms, some seeing some rain, some just seeing some strong storms. Looking out towards Dallas right now, you can kind of see this line with a lot of lightning. There's that severe thunderstorm watch in effect in the northern part with a few sun severe thunderstorm warnings for them as well. Here, though, in the Concho Valley, we saw one, two little bit of some storms that quickly passed through. Some lighter rain earlier in our day, some drizzles that passed through. But right now, Coleman's the one that's watching it move out towards Brownwood, and then another one actually just getting just on the outskirts of Coleman, and there's a tiny one just north of Brady, but the rest of us are staying dry. We could see some lightning strikes with this as well, some stronger winds for the rest of our evening because actually Coleman and in it to winters is in a slight risk for tonight for some severe thunderstorms. So we'll be watching those as they kind of build in a little bit of strength. They saw some of that earlier, but right now here in San Angelo, actually clearing out some of the clouds, which could lead to a little bit more warmer temperatures coming through. 101 right now, and that's pretty much the hottest we're seeing in the entire Concho Valley. 100, 101 right here, 100 at Robert Lee. Sterling City also at 100, some upper 90s for a few. We'll see 96, 94, 93, what Brady and Eden and Menard are seeing. We'll see more temperatures like that as we go into our middle of the week and end of the week. So some, a little bit of a cool down, but not anything too crazy because this little bit of that stalled front is just sitting in the northern part with Oklahoma and us. Then there's that cold front behind in New Mexico. So we're warm. We're staying in those triple digits and watching the activity because of that low pressure is in the northern part, getting enough uplift for them to be in that slight risk. And us, majority of it in the marginal, but there is that little bit cutting into Ballinger by Coleman. That slight risk for some severe thunderstorms with large hail and some strong winds as well. So like last night, we could see some of those passing through later in the evening. Once the sun does start to set, we still have the chances to be seeing that. And you might hear the thunder and see some lightning. And then we're going to have the same kind of pattern for tomorrow. Temperatures getting back to 95, have some late night showers and storms and the potential for some of them to be severe. So a lot of our rain activity staying in the northern, northeastern part this is taking a look overnight. This is almost midnight, seeing one or two of those showers and storms passing through. Then we get a break early Wednesday morning, but there are some areas that could see some drizzle a little bit, not anything to turn on the windshield wipers on. And then again into the evening and overnight hours is taking a look at 11 happening Again, more in Coleman and along the eastern part of the Concho Valley and light showers lingering into our Thursday before we dry it back out and see some more for Friday. Isolated to pop up more on those days and then same thing on Saturday. So not going to be cooling down because fronts aren't really moving through. They're just staying out of our area. And again, this is Wednesday where we see another batch of that late night showers and storms. We're in that marginal risk, so we could see one or two that get close to that strength. A lot of it going to be some strong winds for us. So next week, though, is what we're really watching because even though we have these rain chances tonight and tomorrow night, lingering into Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're seeing those 20s, mid-90s, actually. Lows getting back to the low 70s. Next week, we're actually going to start to see some cooling down for us. So we are going to have the potential with that cold front to get some lower 90s, maybe I say some 80s, but we have to get through the strong, severe thunderstorms that could potentially form in that same closer towards the northern counties, like towards Sterling, Coke, and of course Coleman. Then tomorrow, 40% chance, 95. They're going to be late in our rain chances. Dry it out for mostly Friday, Saturday, we could see one or two in the southern part of the Concho Valley. And then next week. I'm hoping that cold front, they're already starting to see rain chances for it on Tuesday. So we'll get some more rain chances and actually a cool down as opposed to the fronts that we're seeing right now. We're having those mid 90s lows getting back to the 70s, but we'll keep our eye on any potential for some storms to become severe.